हेलो स्टूडेंट्स फॉर इन टॉपिक फैक्टर्स एंड मल्टीपल्स ऑलरेडी यू हैव डन विजिबिलिटी रूल्स इवन नंबर्स ऑड नंबर्स प्राइम नंबर्स कंपोजिट नंबर्स टू फाइंड मल्टीपल्स ऑफ अ नंबर एंड टू फाइंड प्राइम फैक्टर्स टुडे वी विल लर्न टू फाइंड All factors of a number. What is a factors? Multiplying two whole numbers gives a product. The numbers that we multiply are the factors of the product. Now, see example two multiply four is equal to eight. It means two and four are the factors. And eight is a product. Now see next example. Three multiply five is equal to fifteen. So what are three and five? These are factors. And what is fifteen? Product. So now is it clear? When we multiply two numbers, we draw a product. It means two and four. Are the factors of eight and three and five are the factors of fifteen? Is it clear? Now, students, it also means a factor divides a number completely without leaving any remainder. Means the remainder should be a zero. Now, let's clear with some examples. See, fifteen. Divided by three, three fives are fifteen. What is remainder? Zero. So remainder is equal to zero. Three and five are the factors of fifteen. Now see another example. Is fifteen is divisible by four? Four threes are twelve. Subtract remainder three. Remainder is not equal to zero, so four is not a factor of fifteen. Now, students, we will learn to find all factors of a number. But before that, you should have to revise divisibility rules, and there are some points that you have to remember. See first point: one is the smallest factor of every number. Means one multiply six is equal to six. One multiply ten is equal to ten. It means one is a factor of every number. Second, every number is a factor of itself. Itself number itself. Eight multiply one is equal to eight. Means. Eight is a factor of eight also. Any number multiply one is equal to number itself. Now third is every number has at least two factors. That is one and the number itself, and it is called a prime number. As we already discussed, prime numbers are numbers having two factors. That is one and the number itself. Now see one example. Factors of seven. Seven is a prime number. So what are the factors of seven? One and seven. Now fourth point. The factors of a number is always less than or equal to the number. It should not be bigger than a given number. Let's see one example. Suppose factors of six is equal to one, two, three, and six. So all factors are less than or equal to six. Now we will learn to find all factors of a number by U method. And you learn what is U method. Number is Ten. First, we will start from one. As we have already discussed, one is a factor of 
every number. One. Ten is divisible by one and ten. So one multiply ten. Ten is divisible by two at five. So two multiply five. So students, is ten is divisible by three? No. Is ten is divisible by four? No. Is ten is divisible by five? Yes. At two, but. We will not write it when factors get repeated. We will not write it again. Now we turn it as U, and this is called U method. Now, how to write the factors? We start from one, one, two. U turn five, ten. So what all factors of ten is equal to? One, two, five, and ten. Okay, is it clear? Now see. Let's clear it with one more example. Find all factors of eighteen. Now number is eighteen. Start from one because one is a factor of every number. Eighteen divisible by one at eighteen. One multiply eighteen. Eighteen divisible by two at nine. Two multiply nine. Eighteen divisible by three at six. So three multiply six. Now is eighteen is divisible by four? No. Is eighteen is divisible by five? No. Is eighteen is divisible by six? Yes. Add three. Now, can we write it? No, because it is already there. We make it as like U, and we write all factors of eighteen. It is one, two, three, six, nine, and eighteen. So all factors of eighteen are one, two, three, six, nine. And eighteen. Now, students, let's clear it with one more example. Find all factors of twenty-four. Twenty-four. Start from one. Twenty-four divisible by one at twenty-four. One multiply twenty-four. Twenty-four divisible by two at twelve. Twenty-four divisible by three at eight. Twenty-four divisible by four at Six is twenty-four is divisible by five. No, is twenty-four is divisible by six. Yes. Now it is get repeated, but we will not write it again, and we turn it as U. So factors are one, two, three, four, six, eight, twelve, twenty-four. And we write all factors of twenty-four is equal to one, two, three, four, six, eight, twelve, and twenty-four. So, students, today we have learned how to find all factors, and I hope now you are able to do the related worksheet that we have sent in your snap homework. But, students. Before starting the worksheet, please go through the YouTube links that we have already sent to you on Snap Homework. Have a nice day. Thank you.